Are you in the Christmas spirit yet? Well, Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland begins on Saturday, November 13th. So you'd better find that Christmas spirit soon. Because this year, the park is ready to welcome guests into a jolly, magical world of rides, lights, live entertainment, shopping, dining, and so much more. Good day, everyone. My name is Parker, and in this episode of Theme Park Parlay, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about Winterfest 2021 at Canada's Wonderland. There are so many cool offerings to check out this year, so without any further ado, let's talk theme parks. If you've never been to Winterfest before, it's completely different from any of the other seasonal events that the park puts on. For one thing, it completely takes over the park, and some of the themed areas even get special holiday-themed makeovers. International Street becomes a bustling center for shopping, skating, and the park's two 50-foot-tall Christmas trees. Medieval Fair becomes the magical elf village International Festival becomes Tinseltown, World Expo transforms into the North Pole, and the kids' areas become the heartwarming and memorable Charlie Brown's Christmas Town. Even Frontier Canada gets a festive Frontier upgrade. Within all of these lands, you'll find a variety of attractions and unique holiday offerings. So let's go over all of them right now. Starting off with shows, we have a lot of our favorites returning from 2019 but we have a few new additions as well. It isn't Christmas without the Peanuts, so it's only fitting for the first show on our list to be a Peanuts Guide to Christmas. Guests can join Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and the rest of the Peanuts gang for this adorable show about holiday traditions and the true meaning of Christmas. The humbug, what the dickens, is exactly how it sounds. A hilarious, improvisational take on Charles Dickens' classic tale, A Christmas Carol. But here's the catch. A member of the audience is invited to join the troupe as Scrooge. I got to do this back in 2019 and it was so much fun. So yeah, I highly recommend taking this one in. And who knows, you might just be the star of the show. Blitzen's brass band will be serenading guests around the park with their classic holiday marching band tunes. Alternatively, if you fancy something a little more Victorian, the Carolers have you covered in Charlie Brown's Christmas Town, where they perform a cappella renditions of traditional Christmas songs. One of my favorite shows, Cool Yule, will be making a return to Elf Village. I would describe the show as a more modern and upbeat Christmas music show, and yeah, it is a ton of fun. The four drummers of Four Drummers Drumming are back with their holiday beats, so be sure to keep an eye out for them as well. The Holly Jolly Trolley is once again making a stop at Winterfest, and I don't know about anyone else, but I adore this show. I think anyone who has ever identified as a theater kid will really get a kick out of this one, which probably explains my obsession with it. Hmm. Another a cappella group, Jingle Jazz, features some Dickinson carolers who will sing some Christmas favorites with their smooth, jazzy style. You can kind of think of these guys as the pentatonics of the event. The Mistletones are a ton of fun to listen to as well. This trio of songstresses performs some 1950s style holiday hits, and the chemistry and group dynamic between them is just so infectious. The Tannenbaums is a new show for 2021. I think the park has decided not to do Tinker's Toy Factory this year because of indoor capacity restrictions, so I believe this is meant to kind of take up that kind of role in the entertainment lineup. Here's what the park's website has to say about it. Ted and Tammy Tannenbaum are the unofficial Mayor and First Lady of Winterfest. Hosts with the most, they love everything holidays and dueling out Christmas cheer with a 50s flair. They love to share their tips with the Tannenbaums so you too can have the perfect kitschy Christmas. You can find this show in the North Pole. Of course, we can't forget about the iconic tree lighting ceremony 
that takes place each and every night on International Street. Seriously guys, this is the perfect way to start your evening at Winterfest. The show is so fun, and the cast certainly knows how to hype up the park and get them into the Christmas spirit. And let's not forget about all the characters you'll find roaming around the park. Similar to Haunt, you'll be able to meet and interact with these characters, but without getting scared by them, of course. A big draw to Winterfest are all of the activities that you'll only get to experience at this time of year. At Mrs. Claus's kitchen, guests get the opportunity to decorate their own cookies and even meet Mrs. Claus. Now, this is an upcharge attraction with a limited indoor capacity. It costs $24.99 per person, which allows you to decorate four cookies. At the North Pole Post Office, kids can write letters to Santa, which are then displayed in the post office after Santa reads them. And if you visit Winterfest after Christmas, you can still visit the post office to write Santa a thank you letter. How cute! Any fans of Vampire Disco at Haunt will be happy to hear that its holiday counterpart, Polar Party, will be here to bring the gingerbread house down! Wiki wiki wiki! With a fun DJ dance party. At Sally Brown's Christmas Crafts, kids will be able to pick up a Christmas craft kit that they can complete at home. Normally, you'd actually be able to do the craft at the park, but due to COVID and space requirements, the park decided to make it a take-home kit instead. One of the highlights of Winterfest is ice skating on Snowflake Lake. They completely covered a fountain with ice, and skating in front of the mountain is one of the most magical things you'll do on your visit. Now this is important. Reservations for ice skating must be made online in advance. It costs $5 if you bring your own skates, or $12 if you need to rent them at the park. Both of these options allow you a 30 minute time slot. And finally, you can take some socially distanced pictures with Santa at his workshop in the North Pole at St. Nick's Picks. This activity is free, but souvenir photo prints are available for purchase. Of course, it's not Winterfest without its collection of millions of lights and holiday-inspired displays. Here's a few notable displays that are definitely worth checking out and taking some pictures with. You'll find Candy Cane Lane, a beautiful path lined with light-up candy canes on your way to Charlie Brown's Christmas Town. And within Charlie Brown's Christmas Town, you'll find Charlie Brown's Christmas Tree Lot, a winding maze of pine trees that leads you to the perfect photo opportunity with Charlie Brown and his special tree. Any fans of the old Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights at Disney will love Winterfest's dancing lights, which will glow in sync with Christmas hits over in Tinseltown. And one of my favorite displays is Seasons of Light, where you can learn about different holidays through these beautiful stained glass window style murals. One of my favorite parts of the holidays is the food! And Winterfest has that department covered. Many of Wonderland's food and beverage locations will be open during Winterfest, along with these special holiday treats. Coasters will be transformed into Blitzen's Drive-In, where you can get some 1950s style burgers and holiday milkshakes. Candy Cane Cafe will take over La Cantina, where you will find treats like Nutella and Candy Cane Stuffed French Toast. Crepes and maple taffy will be available on International Street, and festive funnel cakes can be found at several locations in the park, including gingerbread, candy cane, eggnog, and classic funnel cake flavors. The Holiday Dining Hall will be serving meals representing different cultures from around the world. The park's website lists this restaurant as being in the North Pole, so I'm assuming it's meant to be an overlay of Backlot Cafe. Hot chocolate will be served throughout the park, and anyone who wants a more traditional Christmas dinner can visit the Marketplace Festive Feast in Elf Village and then hit up Milk and Cookies for gourmet hot chocolate, holiday cookie witches, and holiday ice cream cones for dessert. There's also plenty of options for those who like their jingle booze. <laughs> See what I did there? In Elf Village, you'll find the Cider House serving mulled wine, hot apple cider, and other holiday favorites. The Naughty Elf offers mulled wine, spirits, hot cider, pretzels, and a selection of Ontario craft beer. Over in the North Pole, the Ice Wine Garden serves Ontario craft beers and VQA wines, 
or you can enjoy a cocktail over at the Dingo Bar. Those of you who enjoy doing a little holiday shopping, or window shopping if you're broke like me, will find plenty of fun and unique stores at Winterfest. Let's start off by talking about the big one, the Christmas Market. Taking up the courtyard area, this market features some local GTA artisans and craft vendors selling a bunch of different gifts, food, and more. Honestly, you could spend a few hours at the Christmas Market alone. I even got a few Christmas gifts from here back in 2019, and just don't even get me started on the sweets. Over on International Street, North Pole Mercantile features blue and silver holiday decor, gifts inspired by the winter season, and sports-related apparel and souvenirs. Northern Lights will be selling Canadiana-style gifts, apparel, and souvenirs, including rustic home decor, wildlife-themed gifts, toys, and lots of buffalo check. In Charlie Brown's Christmas Town, Peanuts Holiday Gifts will sell stuffed plush dolls, Peanuts apparel, candies, and other Peanuts-related gifts. Stocking Stuffers, which is open for a sneak peek during Halloween Haunt, has a bunch of pop culture-inspired gifts, with toys and souvenirs themed to different movies, superheroes, Harry Potter, The Grinch, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and more. It also sells stocking stuffer candies and toys. The Mistletoe features a collection of ornaments and tree decor, apparels, Santas, nutcrackers, toys, and holiday candy, as well as vintage gifts and winter wear. Finally, Yuletide Gift Boutique pops with rose and gold holiday magic, selling Christmas ornaments, home decor, and a great selection of sweet treats and candy. Of course, this is Canada's Wonderland, so no visit is complete without some rides. Although our favorites like Yukon Striker, Leviathan, and Behemoth will be hibernating for the winter, the following attractions will be open for you to enjoy. Antique Carousel, Beagle Brigade Airfield, Boo Blasters on Boo Hill, Character Carousel, Flying Canoes, Flying Eagles, Clockworks, Lucy's Tugboat, Peanuts 500, Sally's Love Buggies, Snoopy vs. Red Baron, Snoopy's Revolution, Snoopy's Space Race, Swing of the Century, Swing Time, Taxi Jam, The Pumpkin Patch, Thunder Run, Vikings Rage, Wild Nightmares, and Woodstock's Whirlybirds. Now, other rides may be added to the list as the season goes on, so I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens there. I have heard some rumors that Skyhawk is being considered, so fingers crossed for that. And there you have it. Every ride, show, light display, activity, restaurant, and store that you can experience at Winterfest 2021 at Canada's Wonderland. What are you most looking forward to this year? Comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that wonderful YouTube stuff. I make videos about theme park, travel, local, and outdoor related adventures. So if that's your thing, I would love for you to subscribe. You can also find me on social media at ADV Parker. Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, the adventures are calling. See ya!